All right. Next ship I want to look at in Odyssey. I want to see my Anaconda. Where's my Anaconda? Where are you? There we go. <laughs> Let me get a good view of this thing. <clears throat> Come on, let's load. Let's load. Let's, there we go. Disembark. I'll look at it in here for a bit. I'm gonna have to go out to a planet because. Okay, I am. Where am I actually? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, sort of somewhere in the middle. I'm not really in the front or the back. I'm kind of in the middle, aren't I? Oh, oh, I see where I'm at. Uh, where that wedge is. This one's actually one of the better ones for actually looking at in in the docking port. There's so much side detail going on. And yeah, I can't I can't jump in here. For some reason. I don't know why, but I can't jump. That's cool. legs on these things. This is just insane. Jeez. Now I can't quite run underneath this if I remember right. I just barely don't fit. I could probably do it if I remembered what button I was assigned to crouch to. But I don't. Can I get into that ladder anyway? There's like a ladder up there. I guess not. Let's get this out on a planet. Oh yeah, and this one's actually pretty well set up. All good engineered multi cannons. Uh, remember right? Actually, I don't know how much engineering it had at the time. Overcharged four for the big one. Yeah, that's pretty decent. This one I might actually be able to provide ground support with. Those beams aren't really good for this at all. You know, the whole beam setup I've got is really good for, like, especially long range beams. That's really good for, like, a combat zone, you know, in, like, a war uh, station system. That's right, yeah, yeah, there. I can get out the mail slot, I swear. Yeah, so the the beams where they're all just long range beams, that's actually a really good setup for you go in a combat zone, you can just tag you can just tag uh D. Yeah, still D. Okay. Where on D is at the war end? 
Looks like still the same place. Okay. Araujo. Same place as yesterday. That's where we'll go then. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, those beams, long range beams, you can just tag ships, bring their shields down really quick, and, you know, you're still applying damage even from a good distance, and they can't really touch you at all. You're like shooting them at four kilometers out, five kilometers out. And you've got the other ships on your side who can actually finish them up, so you can make it's a pretty good it's a pretty good setup for that but it's not gonna end them quick not at all but just nothing but multi cannons I can probably ruin somebody's day for one of these landing ships I want to take out one of those landing ships for the combat zones since I can see I can do that now Hopefully before they manage to drop off their troops. That would be awesome. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I think this would probably be my best setup for that. Or maybe my Type 10, honestly, might be better. Yeah, I actually don't know. My Type 10 might be a little better set up for this. Um, but I I'd have to look, actually, and compare. It's set up to be a pretty good fighter, too, if I remember right. Unless I changed it up last time I used it for something. I don't remember. Can I glide like that? I don't actually know if I can glide like that. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can. Alright. I can glide sideways. That's cool. I've never tried that before. I guess I'm going to write myself up. We're counting on you to push the enemy out of this location. Get to it, Commander. Okay, you're coming down. Let's see what I can do to you.
Watching down. Enemy ship down. Excellent work. I like the new shields. Feel free to slow down, Mr. Ship. Reinforcements are touching down. Are they? Oh. Green. Alpha point secured. Green guys are touching down. Okay. care anymore about that. I'm just gonna land it because I wanna see the ship. Delta is now online. Let's break out the landing gear. Ship's too big for its own good. <laughs> you land there? Oh, I thought I saw it slow down on an unsuitable terrain there for a second. There's some slowdowns. Go back up. I'll just okay. Here we go. Let's get out and take a look. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Instantly flies away. And when you gonna jump out? Here we go. I'm back. There we go. Am I in your way, dude? That's <laughs> a real nice view of it, actually. Actually, I'm gonna get that so this is the other thing I don't know how to use the I can't find a the, there is a jetpack I've seen people using it you know I got jump but there's like oh it's like a double jump okay I just figured it out never mind I was gonna say if you know how to use the jetpack do it but apparently it's you jump and then you jump again cool just figured it out the other thing I don't know how to actually yeah, I can't take screenshots the right way, which is normally through the NVIDIA, the Alt F1. This is what I've been normally doing. So I'm just doing the snipping tool and doing this, which is annoying. But that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you know how to make N the NVIDIA thing actually work, I don't know if it's squeezing some if it's killing my buttons or something like that. okay you can actually see pretty good in there now can I do it again I don't have enough power Can't get on it. Okay. I want to get up on the ship. <laughs> like up in there. I probably need to park next to a mountain or a rock or something stupid like that. go to somewhere less gravity. That's really, really what I want to do. Or run jump. Does that help? Nah, that just sort of makes me go forward. <laughs> That's a nice view too, honestly. Maybe I should use that one. Get in the stupid ships. I know they say, oh, there's no gameplay, but like there could be so much cool gameplay in your own ship. And not just stupid stuff, like like actually cool stuff. Yeah. Anyway, there's the anaconda. <laughs>